Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. As promised, part two of this amazing resin hack. Making colored alcohol ink with leftover glitter, leftover confetti, what have you. I realized I had a bunch of heart sprinkles and star sprinkles in pink and green consecutively, and that is way easier to sort out than all those Halloween confetti mix bag. So I've got these two going, and then I did do a little mixture of my Halloween confetti from the last video. I mixed the red and the orange spiders together. Uh, sorry, Red spiders, orange pumpkins. There we go. So it's going to be a little bit of red orange action happening. Let's see the results. I am so excited to show you guys how it turned out. Okay, you guys, so I'm literally just soaking my glitter confetti in some 91% isopropyl alcohol right now. That's me. I was just showing you. I'm pouring it in there into that pink glitter, giving it a good stir, letting it hang out a little bit, and we can already see how pigmented everything is. I am super stoked about this. All right, and here I am, it's about 10 minutes later, decanting all of this 91% isopropyl alcohol into my little containers. I love this little funnel. You guys, did you see how pigmented? That was the pumpkins and spider mix, the red-orange mix. So that one I'm super excited to see. Please excuse me, yes, I did not completely clean my bottles from before, but, you know, I was like, okay, pink, it's, it'll be fine. I was just so excited to get this video going, so look how pigmented. So, so, look at that, you, that pink is blinding, it's like electric pink, and that really is what it looked like, like, no enhancement. So excited about that one. I'm most excited. All right. And then decanting our green. It is quite a kind of dark hunter-ish green, forest green, if you will. Uh, I don't think I was expecting it to be this dark, so, but I'm not mad. I quite like it. And look, you can see, like, it, the color was just leached out of the glitter. Crazy. So everything's decanted, ready to go. I'm going to go mix up some resin, and I will be right back. All right, I've got my resin mixed up and ready to go. One-to-one -one epoxy resin, and I figured this little snowflake... Snowflake. I figured this snowflake mold is still fitting for the month of January in the new year. So we are going to put each tinted alcohol in here. We're going to mix them up and we're going to see what happens. I am ridiculously excited. And you Look at this one. That's the orange. It's almost like a burnt orange. I was very intrigued by that. It must have been because I mixed the orange and the red together. And then what's funny is that green seemed so dark and almost like forest greeny to me. But then when I put it in, it wasn't as green as I thought it was going to be. So this is the fun thing about experimenting. We're going to see how these guys set up. This is the finished thing. We do have to wait 24 hours. And there I am. Hello. 24 hours later. I know. I move quick. I have to manually cross my fingers and hope that this works uh, because I can't cross my fingers like without my other hand helping me out. I don't know if anyone else is like that. But the biggest thing I'm noticing first off, so yes, the resin is still a little bit bendy. You can see it bending when I take them out. So 
honestly, for me, like this is not going to work until I know that resin sets up. So I already know demolding this, I'm, I'm going to give it more time to, you know, do its thing, if you will. But so far, these look super cool to me. Let's wait and see what the finished product looks like. Okay, I was so patient. I waited another whole day. And yes, they set up. I picked everything up. It's not bendy anymore. This is set resin. And I think the results are just super cute and stunning. Please, you guys, what do you think? Is this not the coolest resin hack ever? That's the fun thing about when I get an idea for resin and, you know, it's not always going to work the way you thought it would the first time. Sometimes you have to try it a, a few times or at least a couple times. Sometimes you get it on the first try. Not that my first go was disappointing to me. I actually really liked it a lot. I was just really wanting to see if I could get more like in-depth color. And I think this time I definitely got that. So anyway, what do you guys think of this resin hack? Uh, do you want to try it? If so, let me know. Uh, try it out and then let me know how it goes for you all. Again, y'all, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope everyone is having a fantastic 2024 thus far. You know, we're only three days in or four days in, but you know, all good. And I will see you on my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.